Hello, my friends. Uh, so today we will do SAT question. Uh, here we have quadratic equation with fractions and we need to find sum of solution to the equation above. So how quick we can do this problem? We can solve this problem by any method, by factoring quadratic formula, uh, square property or completing the square. We have four methods to solve quadratic equations. So we can use any method to solve this equation in final answer. We will get two answers, right? Two solutions because we have quadratic equation. And we will do some of a uh, solution of this quadratic equation. So it seems little hard, but I will show you strategy how quick you can do it. So first thing, let's see, we will use quadratic formula. And then I will show you how quick we can do on other hand. Okay, so here, first thing we have quadratic equation with fraction. One thing, whenever we have equation with fraction, any equation, we will try to remove fraction. Okay, we will make simple equation first. So let's say here we have LCD, common denominator, we have from both sides. We will check we have denominator is four, two and eight. So I will find it LCD. What is LCD from both sides is eight. So now we can multiply by eight to each term on both sides, right? So we will say, let's say we will multiply by eight, eight and eight. So step one, find LCD. Step two, you will multiply by LCD to each term on both sides. Third step, we will clear fraction. So I will reduce this. Four and two, two times four is eight, and eight times one is eight. Step four, we will write whatever left over is. So we can see here two times one is two x, then we have 4 times 3 is 12x. Then we have 1 times 10 is 10 equals 0. From this, you can use any method. We have simple equation now. So you can find factor. We can find factor for this equation, but I will show you by quadratic formula. So I can show you strategy how quick you can find some of solutions. All right, so when we use quadratic formula, first thing we need quadratic formula is x equal negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Now if you will think about what is my a, b, and c is. So if you will compare with uh, standard form of this equation, you can see we have ax square plus bx plus c equals zero. Then we can compare what is my a, what is b, and what is c. So we can see exactly what do we have. So we will just plug in a is two, b is 12, and c is 10. All right, these three values, we will just plug in equation. So x is, negative b is 12 plus or minus square root of b square which is 144 minus 4 times a is 2 c is 10 divide by 2 times 2 so negative 12 plus or minus b square is 144 minus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 10 is 80. And then we have 2 times 2 is 4. So negative 12 plus or minus 144 minus 80 is 64. Divide by 4. So what is square root of 64 is 8 over 4. Now look at this here we have plus or minus so we are adding right if we have plus or minus let's say we have plus or minus 6 
right? If you need to do sum, what you will do? Six plus negative six, it will become zero, right? So this part, it will just go away, but I'll show you here. So we will get here is negative 12 plus eight over four and we will get negative 12 minus eight over four. So negative 12 plus eight is negative four over four is negative one. Negative 20 over four is negative five. So we found these two solution, right? So now we need to do sum of this solution is negative six. That is my answer. So did you see how long it took? Now I will show you how quick you can do. So we need to do sum. So you saw that here we have plus or minus. We have plus or minus. This one will cancel out, right? We will get just, so what you need to do is negative, negative 12 over four plus negative 12 over four, right? So negative 12 plus negative 12 is negative 24 over four, which is negative six. Right, so we did sum of solution. So we found answer. So I'll give you rule to find sum of solution. So what is rule is sum of solution is negative b over a. So what is your negative uh, b is 12 and a is 2 or you can check this fraction original equation. You don't need to remove fraction, you can do directly. So here we have sum is negative six. So do you guys remember this formula? How you will find sum of solution of quadratic equation and it will help you to save some time and do correct problem. So remember this formula, I hope this will help you. If you like this strategy, please subscribe my channel and hit notification so you will get notification whenever I will post a strategy of SAT. Uh, I'm posting often videos for SAT strategies and write in a comments what strategy you like to learn. If I will get enough comment, then I will make video for that strategy, all right? And if you like to um, learn more about these strategies, then um, check on my website. I have SAT course, so you can learn SAT strategies and you can improve your score. Let's see one more problem here. So what we need to do, let's try what formula we can use. Sum of solutions, quadratic equation. So what is my formula? Everyone remember this, right? What is formula? Formula is sum of solution of quadratic equation. It doesn't matter you have with fraction or no fraction, all right? Formula is what? Negative B over A. So you just need to find what is your A, B, and C if you will compare with standard form. AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. What is your A is? One fifth and B is three over 10. Now we just plug in this formula. Negative B is three tenth and A is one fifth. So now what we can do is we have complex fraction. So look at this, it's very easy. That is your fraction bar. Instead of that, we can write as division, right? Because it's dividing. So negative 3 tenth divide by 1 fifth. Now we have division of two fractions. So we can do keep, change and flip. So negative 3 tenth Instead of division, we can change to multiplication and make sure you flip second fraction. If you will flip first fraction, then you will get opposite answer, okay? So we will flip this second fraction. 
Now we have multiplication of two fractions, so we can reduce this. Five times one is five, five times two is 10. Five and 10 we can reduce. So now we have answer is negative three times one is negative three, two times one is two. So that is final answer, okay? So did you see how quick you can do? Even if you have just whole number without fractions, very quickly you can just do this problem, all right? I hope this video will help you. If you like, please subscribe my channel and learn more about SAT strategies and more math videos I'm posting very often. So please subscribe and hit on notification. Thank you very much. Uh, see you soon.